Welcome back to the show. We're going to go over today. Just our, we're going to shoot it about the politics. We're just going to talk about politics. We're going to talk about our thoughts. Just totally random here. We're just going to go over it all. And I got Justice here again, who has turned out to be a, a great co-host. So we're going to go over it. We don't know a lot. We don't know a lot of data. We just know what's on the headlines, and we just have some thoughts about it, honestly. Like, it's it's crazy to to think that Joe Biden, he doesn't even remember what happened two days ago. You know what I mean? Like, He's been in office for so damn long, and so he does no policy, his his own policy. I'm not not siding with him, um, but he does no policy. Like, he, he knows what he thinks about politics. He knows what he wants to happen. He just doesn't know how to get it done, and he's just a puppet big time. Anybody in his... Uh, that are employed by him, anybody in his cabinet can just push push him over so fast so easy it's it's obvious he doesn't have any say in anything it's crazy to think that that's that's the kind of reputation that america has right now goes over mm-hmm. shits his pants on another another country's stage and it's just like what what do you think other countries are thinking of our country right now my opinion of biden is he needs to be put down he's a wounded he's old he just needs to be Take that however you will, put down being. Yeah, John, let's just say, put down. He needs an old folks home. He he, really he's that does. time. It's just like he's been, and like you said, he's a pushover. It's it's not that he's a pushover. He literally and physically cannot hold people back. He's just like, nobody's upstairs. It's done. Yeah, nobody's upstairs. And, and, and because <clears throat> the spokesperson to America, which in this sense is, is Biden, right? Mm-hmm. He's the president. He's the one getting interviews. He's the one visiting other countries and all that. And like the the spokesperson can't even read the teleprompters Mm-mm. correctly. He he doesn't even have enough forced thought to think, oh, you know what? That says sit down. That doesn't say that doesn't mean I should read it yeah. or <laughs> repeat that. Like, no, I shouldn't repeat. He don't even have that much forethought. It makes America look just like shit. Yeah, and and it's crazy as as Americans. It's hard to be s- proud of ourselves uh-huh. with this kind of mm-hmm. leadership. It's hard. They talk about draft and going to World War and all that stuff, and I'm just like, in the chances I get drafted, what in the hell makes me want to go fight for a country that I don't even stand behind because it, the the leadership is so fucking terrible. Well, and that leadership don't give a fuck mm-hmm. about you. If you, Not at if all. you used to he die, don't even yeah. Care. He doesn't even care. Like, he, he's just, he's an oblivious dumbass. Agreed. That doesn't even care about really anything. Like, he, he, there was no energy with Joe Biden until the other Democrats started trying to push him out. Like, that's one piece of data I have. It's like comfortable. A lot of the congressmen, all the people in the media are trying to push him out because they know they don't have a freaking chance. And the one person that we always saw and knew was had great influence in running the country was Barack Obama. And he he's trying to push him out. You know? He's Barack Obama's trying to push him out. And now we see Joe trying to put energy into himself. Now we see him trying to prove that he's worthwhile now that now that his own party's where like, was all this energy for the last three years? Exactly, all that energy was just coasting. Like at least Trump was always talking. Mm-hmm. At least we knew what Trump was thinking. Mm-hmm. At least we knew that Trump had cognitive sense. Mm-hmm. Trump we- is a bully to a degree, but you want a bully to deal with other leaders like Putin, like North Korean, like, like all the other China yeah. guy. You know, like, we don't talk in this country. We don't bitch and we don't talk enough about how bad China is as as an enemy. uh, enemy If if we continue on this trajectory, then we're going to be in World War III and we're going to lose America. Well, well, like, like everybody says World War III, and to me it's just like that would almost be a blessing for World War III to actually start. 
Because mm-hmm. then when a war that big starts, there's going to be an end. and There's going to be a winner in one way or the other, mm-hmm. however long, right? But when there's no war like there is today, as far as, I mean, I know that there's all that bullshit going on in the Middle East and Ukraine and that, but what's the outcome? It's like a smothering, it's like a smothering fire. It's just going to mm-hmm. spread and destroy everything so slow that mm-hmm. you don't even realize mm-hmm. what it's doing. And that's what's happening right now. At least a war would bring the heads up. At least the war is like the white head coming to what the top. Think, so you can everything's pop. going on right now is so passive. Yeah. It's so it's, passive. It's so passive that you can't even, you don't even realize it's going on mm-hmm. unless you're really keen. And then when you're really keen, what's going on, you're told, you're, put down as a conspiracy theory and yeah. going down the rabbit hole. And then you're ignored at that canceled. Point. Yeah. You know what, you know what I mean? It's like, how do you, how do you even have a conversation about really the depth that they're trying to ruin our country without being considered as a conspiracy theory? Mm-hmm. You can't do it. It's it's not even possible. If you take a shit the right way, then they're you're you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. If you're not catering to exactly what they want, you or the mainstream media wants, you're cons- you're a conspiracy theorist. And it's just so stupid. And and so that's why America is appearing to choose Trump because he will state it. He mm-hmm. will go down that rabbit mm-hmm. hole with us. He will speak our thoughts, and he don't care. He keeps on getting back up. He's had so many opportunities to say, you know what? I was president. You know, God's been good and just go. But he don't. He don't. Just like he said in the debates, one of the only true things he probably said. I didn't want to run again, but then I realized that this was such a bad president that I knew I needed to run. Yeah. And I'll do what he's been doing. What is what do you think of that debate? I think that debate was uh it, it 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 was commentary. If that thing was on TikTok, it'd be be like uh, two old grandpas going at each other that hate. Look like each a other. clown show, dude. Just like like, and like it was just two old grandpas going after it. And honestly, um, I I heard a couple I heard a couple people say, "Well, oh, Mark Cuban, dude, that guy is so deranged." Mark Cuban, he he has got to wake up. I I I applaud him for his success. But he was success once that catapulted him to such big success that he's been successful ever since, right? Like, mm-hmm. there's at one point, once you make so much money, you're going to be successful. There, yeah. You don't Too really to need fail. to be great to yeah. be successful again once you hit that huge success like he did when he sold his first big company. And so that Mark Cuban is not someone to pattern after. Like, he, I don't think that he... If he was left with nothing, he couldn't create anything anymore. Mark Cuban. I don't think you think could. so. No. Mm. Anyways, I, I get to that point because he says that Joe Biden was thrown off because Trump lies so much. And Trump's you know, and it's just like, no, Joe Biden was off because he's fucked. He doesn't know <laughs> what's going on. And, it, and and I I mean it didn't help that Trump just threw sagebrush at him to to tangle any spokes that didn't help but that was Trump's strategy to prove mm-hmm. to America how bad Joe Biden was that was exactly what Trump needed to do mm-hmm. if Trump sat there and just argued about policy argued about things that things that Joe Biden just knew already and didn't need to stumble around mm-hmm. and think about that would have been stupid because then it wouldn't have proved to America how bad Biden is. Yeah. What, what got me the worst is above all of the fumbling, like you said, the not being able to talk and all that, when he was standing and Trump was talking, how he's looking over there just like looking like a fucking clown that's clocked out. Yeah, dude, my one-year-old has more attention span than him. Seriously. Like he, he has more... he. My one-year-old will actually look at you if you're mm-hmm. talking to him. He'll actually look at them if they're talking. Mm-hmm. He'll look at different people as they're talking. And if you're talking to him, he answers you, yeah. right? Like he looks at you. He does He does things intentionally. A one-year-old yeah. has a better, more cognitive sense than that man. It's kind of like in a relationship. And when the girl checks out, 
when the girl checks out mentally, you know it's done. His brain has checked out. Like whatever's going on, they're not communicating. Well, you say that, but like the last the last couple of weeks since the debate, he's been wildfire, really just really trying to prove to us all that he has worth that he he is there. Well, it's like a nice guy. When a nice guy feels like his relationship is going down, he will do everything in his power to keep it back. Change every habit about himself to keep that. That's what he's doing. You know, his brain's it, done. He, he, yeah. Like, he's like, oh. well, and he's having, he's having micro, micromanaging people around him. Mm-hmm. Like he, he's, what we see of him, the clips we see of him are clips with nobody behind him, pushing him. Mm-hmm. That's very intentional. Like they sit there, they coach, and then they get out of the camera. For that split second yep. video. And then they're back there. It's like that. It's like his speech at that church. Mm-hmm. No teleprompters. He can do it without teleprompters. Prove this. Every time he paused, he looked down at his book. And it was prefaced as a Bible. Yeah. <laughs> but inside was just a bunch of notes. They're probably it was like, like five or six title words. Title size. And then he'd look back down. Five or six words. Look back down. He can't hold a sentence. It's, no. It's too... With the way that face looks, he, no, there's nothing up there. Be my guest, pal. I didn't watch that. Oh, hell free. I don't want to either. When he challenged Trump to the debate. Okay. Then he he puts this video that had like 19 edits. God knows if it took him like <laughs> 24 hours to video it. <laughs> 17 Trump naps. wants to debate me. I want him three times in 2020. Now win him again, 2024. You want to debate me? Be my, be my, be my. What guest. classifies as a win in a debate? With Public the one opinion, with the win they've been going on. So say they debated three times in 2020, and again barely. There wasn't a winner. Now for Trump, there was a winner. I think Trump won every single one of them. But how can Biden say he won? All four of them. Like, that doesn't well, make when, sense to me. When you're in politics, you're used to making up data. Okay. Yeah. And so, if you're gonna, if everything's make up, wouldn't it be simpler to just say make made it up that you won? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Like, like if even and and I agree that with Trump too. Like he makes things up. He ain't gonna come out and say I lost something. He'd way rather yeah. come out and say I won it. Because there's going to be people that say you win or lose no matter what you yeah. say. So you might as well just say the positive thing for yourself. Because some people are going to agree with you. Well, you don't some want people that negative, are not going to agree with you. Yeah, you don't want that negative look on you or even feel negative about yourself. Like, tell me, bringing up Mark Cuban. He yeah. has such a beef against Trump because Trump's more successful and he continues to be more successful than than. Uh, Mark Cuban. Mm-hmm. And so he, he just he just has this anger against Trump. And I'll bet it goes back. I'll bet you they have some history together. And because he's he's so stupid to like I don't know, that guy bugs the hell out of me. And then I had somebody say, I, you remind <laughs> me that you you would be you would like Mark Cuban and that I'm like, dude, you have no idea how much I hate Mark Cuban. Is there I, anything you like about him? Is his money his or his views on money. I think that his opinion on, um, like his his book stayed that, um, and it was this. I read his book before even the twenty sixteen election, and so I had a great opinion about him until until he got political in twenty sixteen, mm-hmm. but his book start uh, states that business is like sports. Okay. It's like the game of business, so to speak, principle. I like that about Mark Cuban, and that was attractive. But the truth of it is, is everything in that book was common sense. And You don't feel like you got a whole ton from it out of just outside of common knowledge? No, no I, I got way more aha moments out of Trump's books and out of Tillman Fertitta's books. And Tillman Fertitta's book's good. Yeah, I think that, I think that Tillman Fertitta is the non-political Trump. Mm-hmm. I really do. He mm. he is that kind of a guy. 
That's interesting. He, he's Trump without the politics. And that's why I like Tillman so much. Is there even a Trump without politics? Because <clears throat> throughout his whole career, I think he's always he's had... He's always stated on politics, but he's he's never just went ham until the late or the 2000s. Mm-hmm. Did he the run in 2000? No, the later 2000s. Like, like he started, he, he floated with the idea in 2020, 12. Uh-huh. And I saw some something on the internet. It says Trump's campaign or something. Then it said 2000 and then 2016. No. So I just he, wondered if he, he had anything. Well, well, people always had asked him throughout his career, uh, are you going to run or are you going to run? And his opinion was, I'm not going to run unless I feel like the country needs it. Mm-hmm. He was right. And the country needs it. The country does need an a belligerent mm-hmm. bully in office. Because every country well, look at the data. outside of America are look, looking at U.S. and saying, mm-hmm. <laughs> we got you this time. And that's what well, they're Well, they're, they're not even scared of us either. They're just huh. like, I go take all your shit. The only reason why they wouldn't dare is because of all the citizens. Because of the potential, yeah, right? the potential. Like, like if they if they thought that Biden, someone like Biden, was going to be in president for the next 30, 40 years, dude would be so fucked. Right mm-hmm. But they know that the American people will shine forth and get us a real president in, yeah, in, and we will take back the world dominancy. I think Putin's been over there just hanging out, in the sense of waiting for <laughs> waiting to see what happens. Because it's almost like it's so toxic and so, well, toxic is probably not the best word, but so unstable that anything can happen in the U.S. Yeah. Well, the truth of it is, is Putin Putin knew what he was doing. And if anybody wanted Biden in, it was Putin. So he could start the war in Ukraine. And it's just the truth. He waited till Trump wasn't in and then started the war. Mm Mm-hmm. That's just what he did. Yeah, and that's that's why I think a thousand percent we have to have men like Trump, big, big bad bullies. Because if you look at the data, when Trump was in for four years, everything was on the trajectory up. Yeah, there was things that's like a little bit dumb, but they were better off than with Obama, Obama, the only and then that with were dumb Biden. during Trump's presidency can tie back to an on purpose dumb. Like Antifa was being paid to do what they did. Black Lives Matter was mm-hmm. being paid to do what they did. To sabotage? George Floyd was a f- setup. All that bullshit was being paid to mm-hmm. do it. All the destruction of the statues and all that, mm-hmm. that was being funded and paid and propaganda mm-hmm. to do so. thousand percent. Anything you think of the that movies. wasn't being pushed towards any bad stuff that was going on in Trump's presidency... Um, anything that wasn't being pushed was going really good. Business was going really mm-hmm. good. All the, yes. like our relationship with other countries, the war, everything. There was out. no war. It, right. The wars yeah. that was going on, they were pulling out on, in a smart way, not the oblivious pull out. So yeah, <laughs> a suction, right? God damn. But like it's Trump had a good thing going. And the only things that wasn't good was the oblivious, propaganda mm-hmm. that was what was happening well all these people were undermining him yeah right. to sabotage him but like the movies like in these cop shows or the fbi shows then some big somebody's rogue and some they have a great conspiracy theory and they're going to undermine this dude and take it out you don't think that that shit's not going on in real life uh, to oh, the people 100%. a thousand percent of the shit's going 100%. on percent where do you think they get the mm-hmm. ideas again all the yeah Hundred percent, that stuff's going on in real life. But it, I mean, it's it's why they do it is to keep it like, oh, you're just thinking in the movies mm-hmm. or like they make it a conspiracy theory by putting it in the movies. Mm-hmm. Where the hell do the movies come from? What's that inspired by? What's the FBI? They do FBI shows. It's all my, it's based mind off factory. that. Yeah, they're just trying to make all this. Holy shit, I can't believe that's happening. Mm -hmm. The CIA has gnarly shit going on. They'll do gnarly shit to a a population or a society. And they'll fund shit. They'll fund. They'll fund. Fuck over a society. In uh, when we went to that thing in Vegas, 
the program, mm -hmm. that that retired military guy that came in. Oh yeah, the uh, the, the 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 gentleman that stopped in the trying to yeah trying to stop sex, sex trafficking, trafficking and all that. I can't stuff. remember his name. He was telling us some of the tactics that they used to overtake a society or overtake it. Yeah, they start like 20, 30 years mm -hmm. prior. They'll play the long game and they will Big fuck time. it up. Well, and that's that that is so like Hollywood has totally helped out the 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 liberal side, the mm -hmm. all the liberal side of politics, mm -hmm. all that's going on. Uh Hollywood has absolutely helped out the acceptance of the NSA, the acceptance of AI, mm -hmm. the acceptance of of the CIA and all that. They've all helped mm -hmm. that out. Why? Because they just keep they they feed it in little little things. They make it a conspiracy theory by putting it into the movies. Mm -hmm. And then if you think it's real going on in real life, you're all of a sudden a conspiracy theory to just watch mm -hmm. the movies. Why do you think porn is so accessible? Just so I it's part of Hollywood. Yeah. It's all part of that that play but no dude like we, we've got to get trump in we've got to shake up the country again um but but honestly man like they cheated out of the election in 2020 mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll i'll stand by that all the like, predictions i don't even need to argue i don't even want to argue you can't people. argue you it, can't they did it they shut down the elections in the middle of the night mm -hmm. when it looked like trump was gonna win like that's the only thing you need all their projections of to say if they didn't wear it, Trump wins every time. Yeah. So like we need Trump in. My level of confidence he'll get in is is ten percent. Mm -hmm. Like so because try some they figured bullshit. out how they figured out how to cheat on election night. They're going to do it again. It doesn't matter. Democrats want Biden out because he's a he's a freaking unspun mm -hmm. thread. He's so unstable. How do how is Trump going to make sure that doesn't happen? Still, the election. He had his chance. He had his chance to make sure the election wasn't going to be rigged when he was in office, and mm -hmm. he didn't do what it took. He was too damn scared of displeasing the American people. What what would have he done? He was the president of the United States. He could have he could have ruled out a million bat. Mail-in ballots? Ballots. He could have rolled out. He could have done an exec executive order and saying you have to stop on X amount of time on election night. Stop counting votes. No more votes that aren't turned in by X amount of time. No more can be turned yeah. in because that's what happened. They stopped, and then like 4 or 5 in the morning, more votes came in. They kicked, the, they, they pushed it out, and all but that shit going Trump on. Trump had an opportunity to stop the election and he didn't do it he do you was think weak. he saw it yeah before he they did saw it? it but he got too worried about oh i need to win the next election so let's play it soft let's play it fair mm. when he knew it wasn't going to be fair he knew it wasn't going to be fair and he listened to the crooked people around him that he let in around him for whatever reason so Trump lost the election himself because he didn't take the a the the actions ahead of time to fix it. That's my opinion. I stand by it. Yeah. Guys, this was really just like let's go record a podcast and the biggest thing on our minds was the politics of everything. I'm truly concerned about the business. Um, because of the politics side, it's it's hard for developers to want to even develop property with interest rates where it's at and with the uncertainty of the government and all that, and it's directly affecting you. So let's let's rally around. Let's get Trump back in office, get Biden out. Let's get the economy going again. And hope you enjoyed today. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>